crazy. Uh, you know that, um, the Beyonce song? What is it called? I've been searching. Anyway, before I get copyrighted. Um, hey, hey, hey. Guys, we're back in the kitchen. We are back in the kitchen. What are we gonna make today? Today we're going to make Filipino uh, mechado, pork to be exact, okay? So, let's cut right into it. How y'all doing? Okay, we're gonna uh, go over the ingredients. Very simple, very easy, just a few ingredients and then you're set, okay? I have a uh, baby here. Hello, say hi. 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 She hi. Made, hi. Yeah. Um, okay. She made a cameo. Okay, guys. So what do we need? We need. Um, yes. What she said. Yes. And the dinosaurs. You want to say hi to the people? Let's say hi to the people. Hi to the people. Hi people. Hi. Hi people. Say subscribe to mommy's channel. There you go. Say subscribe. Subscribe. Great. Thank you. Yes. I always do appreciate it when I have some unexpected guests. Yes, I know. I know. So today we're going to use pork butt. Why is it a butt? Is it really the butt of the pig? No, it's not. It's not. It's actually a little higher up on the foreleg of the pig. It's just called butt. Little trivia, because in colonial New England, when they would cut large pieces of meat, right, they called it the butt, and it just kind of stuck, so it's called pork butt, but we're not cooking the rear of pig, okay? This is actually where we, uh, yes, a butterfly, yes, you see that? Uh-huh, okay, yes, butterflies, so we're going to use pork butt, we're going to use um, tomatoes. Really, you would really need to use two large tomatoes, but if you don't have large tomatoes, this size is okay, but just use four of these, okay? One large um, yellow onion, all right? I've already sliced it, cut into it, cut it into cubes, because I'm a crier when I when I cut into the onion, okay? And I didn't want you guys to have to see me cry, all right? Um, third of a cup of soy sauce. We're using Filipino soy sauce. This is um, called datu puti, all right? We're going to use ground pepper. How much ground pepper? We're going to use half a teaspoon of ground pepper, okay? All right here. Really very simple. This is super duper easy. This is my mom's recipe, okay? so. All the Filipino entrees that you're going to see me make, basically, I learned from my mom. Okay, so you do it your own way, I do it my mom's way. Okay, so let's get to it. Um, I've already kind of pre-cut all the pig because I actually have five pounds of pork. Okay, that sounded really bad, all of the pig, I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Poor little piggy. Pork. I've already pre cut because it's five pounds. I have this much left. Um, we're going to cut into the pork last, okay, just to avoid contamination, even though I know that everything is going to go in one pot anyway. But we're going to cut into the, uh, we're going to cut up our tomatoes first. I've already, like I said, because I'm a crier, I already got to my, um, to my onions okay so we're gonna uh we're gonna do the tomatoes okay um you're gonna just cut it into small cubes all right this is really fine i mean you can make it smaller but all of this basically will shrink here anyway so i think we'll leave it just like that okay then we're gonna cut into the pork so there goes that. Now that we're done cutting up our meat, our pork, we have to go ahead and wash our hands, okay? We're gonna wash our hands, we're gonna clean everything up, and then um, 
I meant to tell you guys that you have to put water in here, but before we get to that, let me go ahead and wash my hands, okay? It's not recommended to use high heat with hex clad, so medium heat is ideal, all right? So I've put water there. I'm gonna add more water to it because it's not enough, but not too much, okay? Remember. Okay, there you go. That should be leveled with the meat. I'm gonna go ahead and flatten that out in a little bit. Meanwhile, we're gonna go ahead and add the soy sauce. So one third cup of soy sauce. I'm just gonna add that there. And then um, half a teaspoon of ground black pepper, okay? There you have it. And then we're gonna go ahead and put it on the stove, all right? Super duper easy. All right, so um, this is how it should look. Your water should be leveled with the meat, okay? So we're gonna allow this to kind of soften and we'll add the rest of the ingredients once the, um, the pork is tender enough and you can actually stick your fork through it. So this should take about 45 minutes, okay? All right, so we are now at the stage and we're gonna see if our meat is tender enough for a fork to effortlessly kind of puncture through it. Yes, it is indeed. So it is at this point that you are going to add your tomatoes and your onion. Go ahead and add all of our tomatoes. And then our onion. Okay. And you're just going to mix it up. And you're going to want to taste this at some point, okay? Um, if it isn't salty enough, add more soy sauce. If it's too salty, add more water, okay? So basically, this is all done, okay? Um, I added, I tasted it, and I added a little bit more soy sauce because I just didn't think that it was salty enough. So I added about a fourth of a cup of soy sauce um, to it. And so we're gonna go ahead and plate this and we'll give it a try, okay? This is it, you guys, we are all done. See how good that looks? By the way, if you want less sauce, use less water, okay? Um, I don't normally put that much water, but I overestimated, but I love sauce and so do my children, so this is perfect for us. So let's give it a try. This is my favorite part, always. Always, okay, never fails. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. You wanna eat this with rice, but I'm on a diet, so no rice for me, okay? Let's give it a try, I'm so excited. I love this dish. Mmm, 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 mmm. Hi, baby. So good. Mm. You want to try? You want some? No. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Yes. It's so soft. I don't know. so good. Say bye bye to the people. Bye, people. Say thanks for watching. Say love, love, love. Come on, come on, come on, blow kiss.